click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, in the previous lecture we have understood that is what is the action of Grignard reagent on aldehyde and ketone. And now in this topic we are going to discuss about what is the action of hydroxyl amine on aldehyde and ketone. So now in this topic let us learn that is what is the product that we could form whenever the hydroxyl amine is treated with aldehyde and ketone. So now let us do the topic. So in this topic we are going to discuss about what is the action of hydroxyl amine on aldehyde and ketone. So for that let me explain the general reaction. So suppose if we consider an aldehyde or ketone and obviously we understand that it has a common carbonyl group that has been attached to the aldehyde or that has been attached to the ketone. So this could be considered as aldehyde or it could be called as ketone also. And suppose if it reacts with hydroxyl amine. So what is hydroxyl amine? That is nothing but that is NH2OH. So the reaction proceeds in such a manner that is this H2 and this oxygen atom of the aldehyde or it could be of ketone. So it will be eliminated in the form of H2. But the thing is this H2 when it will remove so this double bond O it will attach to the nitrogen over here. So therefore this is a reaction that is also known as a condensation reaction. And that is how basically we could find that is the formation of C double bond N OH will be formed along with that of the byproduct is the molecule of H2. So this product that is been formed that is the main product that is been formed oxen and this oxen can be obtained from an aldehyde also it can be obtained from a ketone also but this would have a different name suppose if it is formed from an aldehyde it would be called as an aldehyde oxen. Suppose if this oxen is obtained from an aldehyde so therefore the name of this would be aldoxen while if it is formed because of a ketone so therefore it would be named as ketoxen. So depending on this thing let me make you understand that is the example related to this general reaction and the first example is suppose if we consider acetaldehyde that is CH3 C double bond OH and suppose if it is treated with that is hydroxyl amine that is H2N or NH2OH but the reaction proceeds in presence of a particular condition and that is nothing but an acidic medium and this acidic medium is very weak acidic medium and that is how we see the reaction proceeds and we could find that is this H2 along with this oxygen of the aldehyde it would be removed in the form of H2. So the product the main product that we could get from here is basically CH3 C H double bond N OH. So this is an oxygen that has been obtained whenever an aldehyde or especially we are talking about whenever the acetaldehyde is been treated with the ammonium hydroxide. So this is the reaction where we have obtained an oxygen. So the name of this oxygen is known as since it has been obtained from acetaldehyde so therefore the name is acetaldoxam so that is acetaldoxam. So that is the name that is aldoxam. It is an aldoxam and that has been obtained from an aldehyde. So this was the reaction where the aldehyde was treated with the hydroxyl amine and now let us move on to the next one. So now let me talk about that is what happens if a ketone is been reacted with hydroxyl amine. So the common example that we could take for ketone is CH3 C double bond O CH3. So whenever it is been treated with hydroxyl amine that is NH2 OH obviously in a weak acidic medium. So we must understand that is this H2 along with that of this oxygen it would be removed in the form of H2 while the rest of the thing that we could get is the product and that is nothing but that is we could write it over here as CH3 C here it is CH3 and here it to be double bond N OH so again it is an oxygen but this oxygen is nothing but a ketoxen so what is the name of this oxygen that we have got over here obviously we understand that uh, it is not obtained from a ketone and that is nothing but S2. So therefore the name of this is acetoxin. So this was a reaction which is nothing but a condensation reaction whenever the oxygen atom of the carbonyl of an aldehyde or a ketone it takes away the H2 of the hydroxyl amine and that is how basically the two molecules they get condensed with each other by eliminating H2 molecule and n oxygen is formed. So this kind of similar reaction is also possible if we take the derivative of hydroxyl amine. 
So what are the derivatives? Let me explain that also. So here I'm going to represent about just the general reaction. And the general reaction is very simple to understand. Suppose if we consider that is aldehyde or keto, that is C double bond O. And suppose if we are treating it with uh, the derivative of the hydroxyl amine, and that is nothing but I could say like NH2, and this is NH2. Suppose this two NH2, they are being uh, attached to each other. So therefore this kind of molecule is basically known as hydrogen. Again, the reaction, it will be very much similar to that of the previous one that we have did. And in this case, basically this H2 along with that of this oxygen atom, it will be removed in the form of H2. While the product that will be formed is, that is C, double bond, N, and here it is NH2. So the product that is been formed over here is hydrosome. So now let me talk about the other example. Suppose if we react the aldehyde or keto with the other one, that is suppose the other derivative of the hydroxyl amine, the, suppose if we are talking about that is NH2, NH, C6H5. This is known as phenylhydrazine. Again, the reaction proceed in such a manner that is obviously we could obtain, that is, here also I have to mention that is in acidic condition, that is we will obtain H2 as a byproduct. So the main product that we could get over here is C double bond N, here it is N H C6 H5. So this is nothing but phenyl hydrosome. So this is the reaction that I was mentioning about. So that's it. Thank you friends for watching this video. I hope you have understood this video very clearly and I hope I will see you next time. So till then don't forget to subscribe to channel. Thank you so much.